Hey, it's Frank here with Frank's DIY and Homeowner Help, and this is what we're gonna work on today. Sounds like the beginning of a horror story, and it is a horror story when you're trying to sneak out of the house in the morning. And you can't because the, the door busts you. Uh, so I'm gonna lubricate these hinges. This is a two hinge door, part of a double door. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, pop the pins. The way I see people do it is they just grab a spray can and spray the outside of the hinge. And the problem is doing that, first off, you lose about 99% of the lube. And secondly, you start getting drips down the side of your door frame and it looks really nasty. What you really should be lubing is the, the pin. And the reason why you get this squeaking, there's two reasons actually for it. One is that um, the hinge is stressed. If the hinge isn't perfectly placed square and vertically on the door, then it stresses out the hinge and it causes harder than, than normal metal to metal contact. And metal, metal to metal contact that's not spread out throughout the whole hinge. So it might just be at the bottom or just might be at the top. And that's why it squeaks like that. And then secondly, also just the loss of lube and metal to metal contact in general is why these will... Uh... So what I'm gonna do is punch out the pin using this punch here. And I'm gonna try not to punch it all the way out. I'm gonna to try to punch it out about, you know, almost all the way. I'll use this flathead if I need to as well, just to push it up, hammer it out with this. And I'm gonna lube it up with this dry lube. I haven't used this yet but uh, I've been wanting to try it. And this is probably a pretty good application for it. Dry lube will be less likely to drip and it's a Teflon based lube that should work well on that metal to metal. Now another thing I'm gonna do here is uh, because this is only a two hinge setup, when I take that pin out or go to take that pin out, even if it doesn't come all the way out, the door's gonna wanna fall over this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just shim wedge the uh, the door so that it won't fall over just make it easier on the on the uh, on the hinge you don't have to do that it probably wouldn't be a too big an issue you might have to hold the doorknob while you're doing it just to prevent it from falling over so I'm gonna set this up on a tripod and we'll see how it goes so I'm just gonna stick a shim right in here you don't have to jam it really in you can just put it in by hand to the point where you start to feel resistance and that'll support that hinge and again the the um, the shim is at hinge level. So now I'm gonna try and set this thing up on a little tripod here and just pop this out and uh, move it up. Okay, so just gonna get a hammer in, or sort of the, uh, the, whatever this is called, what's this called? It's a, a punch, it's a nail punch. A nail punch or something, you could even probably just use a screwdriver as long as you don't mind hammering the screwdriver. Up she comes. I'm going to try and bring the camera close just to... so Just using the hammer just to gently tap it up. It'd be a lot easier if you use something like a, a screwdriver here. Flat end screwdriver. So that's about as high as she's going to go. You can see it's falling back down. So. I'm just gonna spray it. So now you can see the, uh, the pin is ready to come out. And the reason why it's coming out so easily and the hinge isn't moving at all is because of the shim, right? If the shim wasn't there, the door would fall off and this would be a lot more difficult to do. So I'm gonna try and spray it right in there. Let's see how this works. Should do it. The whole thing is looped now. The whole pin is looped. And we'll just tap it back down. We'll repeat on the bottom and then we'll give it a try. Hold it. Tap that right there. Now we'll do the same on the bottom. Same thing on the bottom one here. Let's see how this one comes up. You see, it's already sticking up quite a ways. So for this one, instead of because it's already sticking up a little ways. I'm just going to show you how to just grab it with a uh, 
with a flat screwdriver. Just get under, give it a couple of taps. It'll come out really nice. Now that's as far as I'm gonna go with that one because I just don't want it to pop out. Try and get it out of the way here. Try not to spray too much of it. All right, so that's both hinges done. Now let's see the result. Much better. Look at that. No squeak at all. Both hinges working just fine. And now I can sneak up. And no, I don't sneak on. I just work early in the mornings. I don't want to wake my wife up. Hey guys, look, no squeaky doors. Oh, that's nice. So that's it. That's how to fix a squeaky door. Now again, the re reason why I did it the way I did it was so that um, A, it's easier on the hinge when you can shim it. B, you have to lubricate the pin, not the outside and not the actual hinge brackets themselves. Lubricate the pen and it'll always last longer and be better. And hopefully this way you don't get any drips. So that's it. Thanks for joining me.